And earlier this morning, the Marion County Hope Incorporated received a very generous gift. Our Emily McNamara was there for it, and she has more from the newsroom. Good evening, Emily. Hey, Alex. Hope Inc. is a nonprofit that shelters and provides supportive services for victims and the families of victims of se sexual assault and domestic violence. Earlier this morning, they received a donation from another organization driven to change the conversation and empower these survivors. We realized that it was a difficult thing for women to report a rape, and um, so we wanted to make it more comfortable. Project Beloved started with the intention to make those who are a victim of sexual assault more comfortable speaking up before it's too late. April 10th of 2017, Martha Mitchell's goddaughter Molly Jane was found dead. And later they learned she had been raped. But she wasn't the only one. There were three um, rapes prior to Molly's by the same suspect and that he um, was not in custody because it was difficult for these women and two of them actually s decided not to press charges. The Molly Jane mission is to help these victims find their voice by making them feel as comfortable as they can so they step forward. When they report a rape and they have to go to the hospital for a, um, a rape kit, they generally have to take their clothes as evidence also. So these survivors were then um, leaving in a hospital gown. This led to the Beloved Bundle, a backpack providing items to help these survivors feel relaxed and loved after such an intense trauma. The contents of these kits are amazing. Um, not only did they donate clothing for the change of outfits, but they also included uh, like a journal, um, the stress ball, a hygiene kit. So not only are we taking care of their physical needs and their immediate needs, but we're also providing a little bit of that early on emotional support. Project Beloved and the Molly Jane mission was built from a tragedy, but has now grown into something much bigger. Somehow it gives me a connection back with Molly and that um, knowing that she had um, a real love for people and that um, we can now help other people like she would have been doing for us. Project Beloved has made an impact with these bundles across eight different states and now in north central West Virginia. And they don't plan on stopping until the, they change the conversation. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Emily McNamara. Alex, back to you.